Hi everybody, so so things have not gone well with the uh, Log4j vulnerability with Semantic Products. The Cynix support group, who somehow managed to get the contract to look after uh, Semantic Products, uh, I, I'm not sure what the hell is going on there. I originally worked with them remotely, and they downloaded uh, some software to uh, gather some information from the machine. I, I gave them as a, a lab computer that does does what the production ones do when I install their software. And they created a file and they asked me to send it to them. So I uploaded it to their to their website in the uh, portal, support portal where my, my case is located. And and they, they, they tell me that the file's empty. Well, I got the file and I opened it with their support software, the, the, the application actually created it, and I can read it just fine. And it's, and it's 40 megabytes, 41.8 megabytes in size, so it's not empty by any means. So anyway, so they started sending me emails wanting me to attach it to the, because to, when I click reply and, and, and send it to them, it asked me, don't you want to attach a file? I, I didn't know there was such a technology that you could uh, program an email on reply to ask for an attachment. But anyway, they tried doing that, and uh, I tried sending it, but um, I, you know, I had to jump through hoops to get it to go, but ultimately my mail server rejected it, and I am not the administrator of my mail server. It's, it's a rented service. Um, so uh, I, I told them, no, I can't do that. I'm going to upload it to the portal again. And, uh, you know... Uh, and then I hear they're, they're, they're telling me it's empty still. And I said, no, you better look again and, and fix whatever's wrong with your portal because uh, uh, it's not empty. Uh, stop dicking me around or I'm going to have to buy somebody else's uh, endpoint protection software because uh, this has become ridiculous. It's, it's been going on. It's, the vulnerability has been on a month now. And uh, I haven't got any, any, any new software to replace the old software. So I guess I'm, I'm stuck with the mitigation steps. In, in the short term, or maybe permanently the way this goes, because uh, these people are incompetent. We, I can't even get a file to them, and and they're not going to come up with anything anyway. So uh, remember, uh, not to not to use these guys. Whatever you do, you'll be sorry. Anyway, as I said before, uh, you know, whenever I heard Microsoft bought another bought another gaming company this week, and uh, you know, it always reminds me. Uh, you know, of all the other things Microsoft fucked up, um, Skype is a good example. So, whenever somebody sells out their company to somebody else, it's time to abandon the product because the new the new owners are going to destroy it anyway. So w there's no sense hanging around. So Broadcom, um, I, I think I'm going to move to Sophos Endpoint because your 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 product is shit, and your and your and your support group is shit. And they, 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 they uh, you know, are dicking me around, and I think they're doing it purposely because they don't have the answers. They're just, it's just a tool to, 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 to keep people busy, uh, and wasting my time. So, uh, you know, thanks a lot for 15 years of, uh, uh, of protection, uh, but it's time for me to move on. Good, goodbye, semantic, and thanks for listening, everyone. Take care.